Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to extend on what you've talked about already the past several days, and which you're very fortunate to be here and do all this. I was, I was talking this morning that um, I came in yesterday first thing in the morning and flew in and started going through the Smithsonian Museums and all, and I went to the Hirshhorn Contemporary Arts Museum. And I walked in and I went to this one room where they had on the wall a canvas painted in solid blue, and next to it was a canvas painted in solid white. And I thought I could do this. <laughs> so, um, but, but with everything that I, I learned today, no, I can't. <laughs> so, um, so it, it's great that you're getting this this opportunity to really dig deeper into into art and all. And I hope um, my little piece can add um, a little bit more to that and help you out um, in your classrooms. So, how many of you have ever, or let me put it this way, how many of you have never touched an iPod before in the past couple of days? Okay, so maybe about half and half. Okay, so we're going to start off. Okay, how, how many of you have touched it but still don't know how to work it? Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the, the podcasting one part before we get on to the podcasting 101. So, um, if you take out your iPod, you can kind of follow along as we're going through this. I'm going to walk you through some of the, the basics on it. I, I was asked first thing this morning where the on-off button is on this. There is no on-off button. That was my question. And it was a good question. You'll notice up at the top there's a switch. Um, if you switch it one way, you'll see red. If you switch it the other way, you see white. What that does is that locks everything down here. If it's set on red, you can't use any of the controls. You can press the button, you can use the scroll wheel, and it won't work. If you set it to white, then you have all of your touch capabilities and you can use everything. Um, so go ahead and turn it on white and press the uh, menu button up at the top. And you're going to come up to your main screen. And your screen, when I hold mine up, is going to look a little bit different from yours because yours is a newer generation than mine. So yours has this kind of split screen view where my menu takes up the whole screen. But same thing. Um, you'll notice I also have a couple of other menu items. And I'm going to help you get one very important menu item on here that they kind of hide from you. And I think it's helpful because in the long run it will save you some battery life. So if you, um, and, and also when you're navigating on the menus on an iPod, all you do to navigate is scroll your finger around the wheel and you'll notice the bar going up and down. So you just move your finger around that wheel. When you get to something that you want to click on, then you press the button in the center, and that's what you use to select. So we're going to scroll down to the settings option, and then click that center button. Settings, and then click the center button. And then at the top of your menu, you should see about. That if you see that, you're in the right place. You're going to scroll down again, one space until you get to main menu. At least on mine, it's the second one. Two, the four. Three. Okay, on yours, it's the fourth. Go to main menu and click that. And what this does is it lets you choose what is going to be on your main screen when you go to the menu. So you can turn things on and off by scrolling to it and clicking. I encourage you to go down to where it says sleep and click your center button. That's going to put the sleep capability on the front, um, front menu. So just go down to sleep. Click and you should see a check mark next to it. <laughs> it's under shuffle songs. And you should see a check mark after you click it. So click it. Yep, right there. Once you've clicked that and you see your check mark there, go ahead and keep clicking menu. That'll take you back up into the top menu. And you should see sleep now on there. So when it, the, the best thing to do, I find, to save your battery life is whenever you're finished using it, it'll, it'll sit for a few minutes before it shuts itself off. But I like to go ahead and put it to sleep. So whenever you finish using it, just navigate to sleep and click the center button. Your <coughs> screen will go black. And then turn the switch to lock. That way accidental touches won't turn it back on. And now it's going to be sleep. It's in its off position. Um, and nothing can be done with it. Okay? So whether you're listening to it, whether you're recording on it, anything, um, just set it to sleep when you're done, click it, and then lock it. You're good. Everyone's got that on their main screen. You understand that part? Perfect. Okay, we're on a podcasting too. 